Got my airplane. Doesn't really look like an airplane, but it's the best I could do. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do something different. So Vogue has been releasing these skincare, makeup routine type things from different celebrities and today they dropped one by Kalani and I was embarrassed to say that I'm like, ooh, this Kalani girl, she's really pretty, I wonder who she is. And then I listened to some of her music and I was like, okay, I actually do know who she is. I'm just challenged and don't know who people are. Hi, this is Kalani and I'm gonna walk you through my everyday skin routine and my very basic everyday glowy face. So the first step is a creamy cleanser. Um, I like this a lot because I have really, really dry skin, so I kind of need something that's like hydrating and doesn't leave me feeling all tight and gross. Okay, so she starts with a hydrating cleanser. I never buy hydrating cleansers. I mean, I'm sure my cleanser is kind of hydrating, but it is an exfoliating cleanser. Oh, although I think I have a mini from Sephora that I got for free. Just give me one sec. All right, so I have this little best, bestie number nine jelly cleanser from Drunk Elephant. You know what, before I get started, I don't wanna get anything on my cute Clueless t-shirt and she's looking all, you know, fancy with her silk robe and everything. Oh, did you guys notice I put my hair back? It's just to kind of go with the look. Gets all fancy. Vogue. What is going on here? What is a what is what is actually happening here? Oh my god. We're good. Oh, we're good. Use some of this cleanser. It opens weird. Ooh, I'm gonna wipe off that because that looks nasty and dusty. It's this cleanser, guys. It's sticky and everything sticks to it. I think it's pretty hydrating though, so I think this is the closest thing that I'm gonna get to a hydrating cleanser. So <gasps> It tastes like bubbles. <laughs> is my hair everywhere? That is not my hair. That is my mom's hair. Mom, I found your pink hair. <laughs> my face feels very sticky. I need to rinse again. <laughs> I use this toner from Belief. So she's using a toner from Belief. I think it's hydrating. Let's look up that toner. I don't actually know what that toner is. So it's totally a hydrating toner and the only toner I have are like a glycolic toner and this other like salicylic toner for like clearing your pores. They're not the most hydrating. So I'm gonna use a facial mist and kind of count that as a toner. So because I have dry skin, I have to make sure that I continuously, like in between each step, I just keep layering hydration. So my third step is just this like aqua bomb mist from Belief. This stuff is great. I use this morning, night, all of it. So gonna... Now she's using a hydrating serum. The only one I have is a little bit left of this Shiseido one. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even know if I like it that much, it's okay. I got it for free, so I'm grateful for that. There's like nothing left in here. I don't know how I feel about Shiseido. Some of the products seem like decent, and then other products I read and I'm like, what are these ingredients? Am I gonna die putting this on my face? I don't actually know, but it was free, so. I'm gonna lock all that in with an essence, and mine is a snail mucin essence. I know that probably sounds funny. This is like a major key in Korean skincare. I'll be honest, I think essences are kind of just wasting our money. Like, here's an extra step that you don't actually need, kind of thing. But I mean, the snail, snail mucus thing sounds cool. I hear that's good for your skin. I don't have an essence. I'm just gonna pull that, um, that face spray out again and just mist my face some more. So my favorite is the Polish Choice Omega Complex Moisturizer, which is a big like barrier healer because I have problems with my skin barrier. How does one decide that they have difficulty with their skin barrier? Vitamin C like rose oil. So I'm going to take like three little droplets of that and put it in my moisturizer because I'm super dry. Okay, so she's using a hydrating moisturizer and a rose oil. I don't have a rose oil and I don't have that moisturizer, but we're gonna work with what we got. So currently I'm on to my very last free moisturizer from when I worked at Sephora. You know, I'm gonna cherish this baby. Just, just push it, just push a little, just a little bit at a time, you know? I'm gonna have to buy stuff soon. 
and it costs money. The only oil I currently have is this Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil. So we're gonna go with that. One, two, three. We're gonna mix it. Should get all of that there. I don't know if it's the cleanser or it's all the products that I've layered, but my face feels kind of sticky. So my last step is SPF. Okay, so she's putting on SPF. <laughs> I'm not laughing at SPF. SPF is important. I'm laughing because the only SPF I currently have is this really cheap one that I picked up because I ran out of my good bougie stuff that I got when I worked at Sephora. And this is all I currently have is the Vino Sensitive Skin Mineral Sunscreen. Now, mineral sunscreens are good because they are good for sensitive skin and stuff, but they also happen to be very, very thick and white and not good for us blackish people. Even with my light skin, this stuff makes me look like a piece of paper. Only thing I can do is rub the crap out of it. And oh no, that's what happens sometimes when you layer this quick, it's pilling on my face. <laughs> Maybe I could just pat some of it off. So I'm gonna walk you through a really basic um, face with like a little bit of like of a orange sunset -y kind of eye. Um, the first thing I would take is this Honest Beauty, like Magic Beauty Balm. So I'm gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna put it in my dryer area. So she's using a Magic Beauty Balm. I don't have that. The only balm makeup I have is this Stila highlighter. We're gonna try that and see what it does. So my forehead gets really dry under makeup. Makes the makeup weird. My nose. So I guess this Beauty Balm is a primer. This is definitely not a primer. Maybe I'll put a primer on top. I have this Banana Bright Face Primer. The Pat McGrath foundation. What I love about the Pat McGrath stuff is... She's bougie. She's bougie AF. The most bougie thing I have is Laura Mercier. I got my beauty blenders because I want to be wet, but I don't want to be like too wet. I have foundation on my hand. She's using a beauty blender. I stopped using those a long time ago because they are expensive and I can't keep replacing my beauty blender. We're gonna use a brush, because a brush I can wash over and over again. And it doesn't die, and it doesn't get scary things inside of it, because you don't know, you never know what's inside your beauty blender, if you hold on to it for too long. We're gonna mist it, like she does. I don't have MAC Fix Plus, but I have this Dead Sea Minerals Citrus Spray that I got from Winners. So I use NARS lights first. I don't have NARS, but I have this Cover FX Power Play Concealer, so we're gonna use that. She, oh, she, she goes in like a lot. I never use that much concealer. Your face that like, you know, I guess shadows would highlight, you know, you know the whole light thing, I don't even know how to explain it. Bounce that in. Girl, I know this is gonna go in my eye creases. I just know it is. Can I make this brighter? We're gonna make my thing brighter. I've got too many shadows. It's hard to get good lighting in this bathroom. I feel like I need to get in there with my little, my little concealer brush. I don't have a contour stick. It was just one of those things that I never got for free and I just didn't buy. Although I probably would really, really would like one. I've used them on many clients. I only have powder, but I'm trying to go with the cream, liquid, glowy vibe that she's doing. This is the closest thing that I have to a contour stick. It is a, um, a lipstick. Actually, it's a multi-stick by Bite. And basically, they believe that you can use this on your face too, because it's supposed to be an all-in-one. I don't even know if you guys can tell because the lighting is really crazy in here. Let me make that darker. Do you guys see how dark that is? That's dark. That's dark. Look. Uh, see? That would work if I was more black. But I'm not. 
my boyfriend calls me black-ish. It's true. I wanted to do karaoke one night, and I wanted to rap a song, and then I chose Iggy Azalea. To set with the Laura Mercier setting powder. So she's baking. What I don't understand is if you have dry skin, why are you baking? Baking just makes your skin look crusty. I'm sorry, baking is for like 16 year olds with oily skin. You don't need to put that much powder on your face to set your face. I've baked before. Oh, by the way, I don't have Laura Mercy. I have this Kat Von D one, so I'm gonna use that. I have baked before and I quickly learned that it makes me look like I'm 100 years old. And I'm still young, I'm only 25, but I still am getting a few lines around the eyes. Most people bake with a sponge, but I don't have one because I don't like to spend money. We are using a brush and I'm, <laughs> it hurts me to do this. I'm sorry, skin. I'm sorry, you're gonna look crusty, I, I apologize. Now I have to say, <coughs> another point. Baking is probably not very good for your lungs and you need to be taking good care of your lungs right now. <sighs> I forgot how much I hate loose powder because it gets everywhere and you can't breathe. I've been living like the basic hermit, no makeup life for a while. And then when I do wear makeup, I use very little powder. So this is not something I like to do. I mean, she looks amazing. It looks beautiful. Maybe, maybe this works for her, but I hate baking. I don't like doing it always been the struggle first of all we're in quarantine so my eyebrows haven't been done in centuries so i'm showing you the struggle eyebrow so first i'm gonna take my 24-hour brow setter from benefit oh she puts brow setter on first before i think this is actually the first product that i actually have that she has and it's not even full size it's a free mini <laughs> I don't usually use a lash curler, hence why I am wiping this off because it hasn't been touched in a long time. I feel like works for me is layering mascaras. I don't know, I don't know if that sounds funny, but to me they do different things. So the first one is like the Lancome Doll Lashes mascara. I don't have that mascara, but I have mascara. So I try to focus on like getting the outer lashes longer so it can have like a like a cat eye effect. Okay, I've never tried that before. This is the mascara I currently have. We are gonna focus on the outer lashes, like she said. Girl putting on mascara before she did her eyeshadow? And she didn't even finish her brows yet. I am so confused. Anyone else confused with me? Go big or go home from Kat Von D. Okay, so she's layering that new Kat Von D mascara. I actually did have that mascara, but I finished it. Guess we're just gonna layer some more of my Marc Jacobs. Finally, hallelujah, thank you. We are dusting off this powder. Let's get. <coughs> I don't know if you guys can see, but my under eyes, they look crusty and I don't like it. I'm gonna do some bottom lash. Just gonna do some some days this goes well for me and other days it's just a nightmare. Oh, I got a clump. So I use this like YSL like blush, liquid blush thing and I just, I just do this. I don't have liquid blush. She has everything in liquid and cream. I have this lip gloss. Do I dare? Ooh, that's dark. It's not bad. It makes a pretty nice blush. Okay. So I'm back to my Benefit brow pencil. I don't have that. I only have a pomade. The reason for that is that brow pencils are not cheap. That one's like $27 and that shit lasts you like two weeks. I pick up a pomade because this shit will last me like a year. I have to say, it is kind of weird putting in the brow product when my brows are already crusty from that brow setter. I'm not insulting Kalani, by the way. Clearly she does this because this works for her. I have to say, I'm feeling these eyebrows. I think I like the whole brow setter before the brow product thing. I think she's onto something. 
All right, so she's cleaning up her brow with some concealer. I like to use the NARS, um, what is it called? Soft Matte Complete, co Complete Concealer. I can't talk. I rarely do this because it's just like an extra step that I just don't feel like doing. My eyebrows to fake the funk. So, no so this part of her is called the crayon case. And right now we're gonna be using these two colors. I don't have that palette, but I have this Violet Voss palette that has kind of similar colors. So I'm thinking I could probably use like these two. So she's going into the crease with that orange. I think this orange might actually be closer to it than that orange. She did her mascara before her eyeshadow. Like, I don't know about her, but my eyelashes are getting in the way. To kind of do this like sunset-y. I recently got this Juicy Couture, whatever this says, Bling Queen highlighter. I'm only gonna use a little bit, but I like that it's liquid because to me it just like hits the sun in a different way. So currently the only liquid highlighter that I have is this High Beam Mini. And it's kind of like this light pink color that really doesn't go with my skin tone, but it's the only one I got, so we are going to use it. Laura Mercier, gold ass, whatever this, addiction, but I called it the gold ass powder just now. So she's using a gold ass powder. The most gold powder I have is from Makeup Forever. It's not as gold as hers, but... It's the goldest I have. It's definitely sticking to that liquid one. That's probably why she does that, because it's sticky. We're looking glowy. She's putting it, oh. She like went in on her nose. Ugh. I don't like that. That makes my nose look bigger. Look how big my nose looks now. And she pops that in the inner corner. And then she pops some up here too. So I'm just gonna take this brush. Just take a little bit. I don't know what compact she used. It's probably something extremely bougie. I just have a slightly broken compact from Sephora. So just like little minor areas, like your lash lines or right around the chin. The All I Have Left to Do is some spray my face. So I'm just gonna. Okay, so she's gonna spray her face with some MAC Fix Plus. Again, I don't have it. I have this cheapy spray from Winners, so. And then I'm gonna take my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I used to have All Nighter Setting Spray. I currently do not. I also need to clean my tattoos off. She's got a little cute, you know, paper airplane tattoo on her face. I don't have a tattoo to clean off. I have a tattoo liner, and I'm gonna try and draw on a tattoo um, paper airplane. Well, I gave up on that. We're gonna pretend that that is a paper airplane. So she's uncovering dots on her face that are actually tattoos. And I didn't realize that, I thought those were moles. So she's got one above her paper airplane. I'm go nowhere without lip gloss. I guess I'm gonna take lip liner. I use various shades of MAC liner. Okay, well, I don't have a MAC lip liner, but I have this one from Milani, so we're going to use this. I might overline the top lip a little bit. Clear gloss is super hydrating. Now, she uses a rose hip oil clear gloss. I don't have a clear gloss right now, or I think I did, but I don't actually know where I put it. But it's, she said rose hip oil, so there's oil and the lip gloss, so I'm just gonna take some of my face oil again. Put it on my lips, make it nice and juicy. That is my face for the day. We're gonna complete the look. Okay, Kalani, makeup is set. I have to say, I did not like the baking. I don't like baking, but after spraying the stuff and everything, I look glowy again. I feel you know, hardcore with my tats here. Got my airplane, doesn't really look like an airplane, but it's the best I could do from far away. Can you tell? 
Can you tell that's not a that's not a paper airplane? Because it looks like a paper airplane to me. They look pretty similar. I would just have to, you know, the look. See 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 her pose there? Her pose, you know, she's